Even as their bodies begin to break down, salmon continue swimming. Before they are fully decayed, they must fulfill one final task, returning to their birthplace to spawn. They do not linger to raise their offspring. Once the fry emerge, the dying bodies of the parents become their first source of nourishment. A salmon's life is split into two main chapters. After birth, it spends nearly three years in freshwater. When strong enough, it ventures out into the vast ocean. As life nears its end, the salmon turns back, fighting the current to return to where it began. It's a journey with no return. In just four weeks, they lose their ability to survive in fresh water. Their immune systems give way. Infections and parasites invade, leaving their bodies like blood-red, rotting tissue. Predators wait at every bend, but those that endure keep going, no matter how wounded, never hesitating. At the final stop, males and females spawn, choosing carefully where to release their eggs. Then, they begin to die, slowly. Their decomposing remains enrich the water, nourishing the next generation. The fry will never know that the life sustaining them once belonged to their own parents. What do you make of that kind of sacrifice?